Have you ever gone to the range before you play your round and totally lost the feeling of your swing? Today I'm going to show you a drill that's going to help you get all those feelings back before you hit the first tee. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're going to play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. Years ago, I was frustrated because I lost that. I was confused, I was frustrated, and then I met Mo Norman and learned the single plane swing. And so now, I wake up every day and I know I'm gonna hit it well, I know I'm gonna play well, I know I'm gonna have fun. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're gonna go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. So I'm not a big drill guy, believe it or not, but you know I don't like to get out here and just work on something that doesn't really relate to full swing motion because one of the things that goes that can go bad in a golf swing is timing of a golf swing. Matter of fact, it's the only thing that really goes bad in my swing is my swing timing. Well, what is timing? Timing is when you just don't feel good and you just don't you're not synced up and the and you're just not getting the the, the club to move correctly. And it, my mechanics can be great. Like your mechanics may be really good, but then your swing timing just gets off. So one of the things that I like to do is I have I have little routines that I put together. And this routine in particular, and a drill I'm going to show you today, is one that I use if my swing is kind of out of sync. And it's one of those times when maybe you go to the range, and let's say, let's say for example, that you're going to play with your buddies, and you've got to go do a quick warm up before you hit the first tee, and you get there and things are just kind of getting chaotic, right? You're just not hitting it good, and you're, you're running out of time, and I don't know if you've ever done this, you kind of get to that panic mode where you just, you're like, oh my God, I'm hitting it terrible, right? Okay. So let's just step back a second. Take a couple deep breaths, and let's just give you a little bit of, a, of my shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder drill, which is a movement drill. And now, here's why I like this drill, and you'll understand this more as I go through it. This particular, mo it's a motion drill. It's teaching you how to work on the inside of your body and quit focusing on the golf club. I'm not a big fan of anything that focuses on the club because you end up adjusting your hands and your arms and all that stuff. We need to work on how the body is moving and let the arms sequence correctly. Does that make sense? So we have to sequence better to hit it better. So let me explain the shoulder to shoulder drill. I'll do it without a golf club first. The shoulder to shoulder drill is really to get your body rotating correctly and it'll help your tilts as well. So what it is, and I'll, I, I'm going to hit a golf ball with it, but let me show you what it is first before I hit, hit a shot, is you're in your tilts, you're in your side bends, you're taking a backswing, and notice my, where my lead shoulder is, right? It's kind of under my chin, right? So there's the backswing lead shoulder position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tra transition and replace this shoulder with this shoulder. So watch. See that? So I'm making, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally just taking shoulder and replacing this one with this one all the way through. Now notice when I do this, I'll do it facing you now. So there's my shoulder in the backswing. I'm going to replace it with this one. And notice because I'm turning that it goes past where it starts. So it's a full rotation of the upper body where, where I'm still tilted. Now watch when I add a club to this. This is where it gets kind of fun. Because now, not going to hit a golf ball first, let me just show you the motion. So now I want you to get into your single plane setup. There's your backswing, replace shoulders, right? So notice what's happening now is the replacement of the shoulders is letting me sync up the shoulder motion. Does that make sense? So I'm syncing up my body motion. Now, that's the next thing I want you to do. Now, you gotta get to that first tee and hit it pretty good. So now what all I want you to do is put a golf ball down and you're gonna hit a shot and all you're gonna think about is shoulder to shoulders in your drill. Watch this. And you can hit a couple shots just to feel it. And all you're trying to do is replace the lead shoulder with the trail shoulder back and through and hold your finish there because you want to be in your tilt and hold your position and realign these shoulders in your tilt back and through shoulder to shoulder and what you, what you find is that you're not going to rush your shoulders you're not going to hang them back you're going to be rotating the torso in the proper sequence of events. That's why I like this drill. So what I'll do if my swing feels out of sync or not good, I'll just come out to the range, 
grab a six iron, set up, take a couple practice swings, shoulder to shoulder, hold my finish, and then just feel that same sequence. Once again, it's one of my favorite drills to do. Gets me back timing, gets me synced up. That is my shoulder to shoulder drill. That is a drill you can use when you're practicing or when you gotta run to the range and get to that first tee and make sure you hit a good shot. And by the way, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also click that little bell icon to get notified anytime I produce a new video and hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for joining me today.